It's one of three in the world. It is a million dollar card, baby. It's a part of Pokemon history now. If you had a million dollars, I'd say buy it. It's worth one million dollars. It is a million dollar card, baby. This weekend, you probably tuned in to the long-awaited boxing match between 50-0 Money Mayweather and YouTube guy Logan Paul for their exhibition cash grab boxing match. Seriously, this was all over the place. If you even have access to the internet, I don't know how you could miss it. However, one headline I saw almost more than the fight itself was that Logan wore an alleged $1 million Pokemon card around his neck to the fight. And following that was a ton of arguments saying that this is or isn't actually a $1 million Pokemon card. So today I am going to try and break down why this is definitely a $1 million Pokemon card. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Kayla from Kayla. We'll try it. Let's get right into it. First and foremost, down to its bare bones, we need to talk about the card. This is a first edition base set Shadowless Charizard, aka the holy grail of Pokemon card collecting. Number 4 out of 102 of the very first printed English set, I have yet to even hold one of these bad boys in my own hands. Let's just say you want to go out and buy this card right now, raw off the internet, you're going to be spending around $2,000 no matter what, that is on average. And that is not taking into account condition, which can definitely drastically drive or lower the price of a card. Either way, depending on condition, you are not getting away with having one of these cards without spending at least a grand right now. So the card itself in its base form is the rarest and most sought after Pokemon card of all time. But we gotta take it one step further and take a look at the card itself because this is a first edition Shadowless and it looks like that first edition seems to be a thick stamp. In the English first edition print one, they were printed with a first edition thick stamp. To identify this stamp, you need to take a look at the first edition that's down in the left side. To identify thick versus thin, in the thick stamp, the one is just a little bit thicker. Later on, they fix this with a new template that makes the one a little bit thinner, making this technically a thin stamp. This then became the actual standard for the first edition stamp. So right out the gate, before we've even gotten to the grading, we've got the holy grail of all Pokemon cards, and it's even a little bit rarer because it's got that first edition thick stamp. Alright, now let's talk about the grading service. So this Charizard was actually graded by the grading service Beckett and actually received a pristine 10 out of 10. So let's compare Beckett to the most popular grading service out there, which would be PSA. Overall, PSA is just a more popular grading service in general. But a lot of debate out there says that a Beckett 10 is way harder and rarer than a PSA 10. And that's mainly due to Beckett's more specific grading system. Now to put this a little bit into perspective, according to the PSA Shadowless First Edition Charizard population, there are 122 PSA 10s in circulation. And we've even seen not so strong PSA 10 Shadowless Charizard sell for like $225,000. All right, now let's talk about this specific Beckett 10. For this specific graded card, there are actually only three in existence compared to PSA's 122. One of those three goes to Logan Paul, and two of the three are actually owned by Gary the Pokemon King. And to make it a little more fun, the two out of three that Gary own are not thick stamps. They're actually just thin stamps. So even only having one out of three, Logan's is still just a little bit rarer than the other two. So being only three of these Beckett 10 Charizards, there are only two owners right now. A little while back, Gary actually put a bounty out for the third Charizard, and he put it up for $750,000. So guys, right there, there is the proof that it is worth a million dollars, if not even a little bit more now. And we haven't even talked about other value. Let's talk about the additional value here. This Beckett 10 necklace is absolutely blinged out, and knowing Logan, I doubt that he put some very low quality diamonds on this thing. And on top of that, this specific card was worn to a fight against one of the greatest boxers of all time and of our generation. It's been seen around the world, it's all over the internet, it's been on ESPN, and that adds a lot of value as well. So there you go. Don't believe all the gurus out there saying that this card is a $130,000 card. No way, man. For real, this card was worth a million dollars if not more before he iced it out. This thing could be worth 1.2, 1.3 million dollars. Who knows how much freaking diamonds is on that thing. So there you guys go, man. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. Let me know what you thought about this fight. Honestly, I thought it was decent. It was better than I thought. Good for Logan, the guy. He's, he seems pretty chill. Honestly, let me know what you think about this card and if you think that it's actually worth a million dollars or not. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next video.